Hey guys, what's up? It's Daniel with TrailerMountain.com and today I'm doing a unboxing of the Timex One GPS watch from Timex.com. Here's their website right here. Definitely want to make sure you check these guys out. These guys are stepping up their game in the electronics world and bringing some high quality, very nice GPS watches to market. All right, so here it is right here. This is the Timex One GPS and just got this. I'm gonna unbox it and I'm gonna show you what it comes with and then we're gonna turn it on. I'm gonna show you the features and benefits. All right, so here it is right here. It's a Timex One GPS Iron Man and we're gonna get it out of the box. I'm gonna turn it on. I'm gonna show you what it comes with and uh, I'll go over the features and benefits on how you set this thing up. All right, so just comes in its own little case right there. Just Toss that over to the side. Get this little sticker off of here. And then there's your watch right there. Pretty decent size. Definitely a respectable size. And has this really nice thick strap. And then there's your back side of the watch with the charging buttons right there. That's where you, there's a little clip charger I'll show you here in a minute, and that's where that would plug into so you can charge this thing USB back to your computer or USB wall charger. And you have four buttons. You have your power button. You have your menu button. You have your GPS button. And then you have your next button. All right, so I'll put this off to the side. It's just a little white card. Here's all the goodies. It comes in this little box right here. So let's see what we got. All right, so you have your quick start guide. And there's a, I guess they had a correction to page 10, so they give you an updated version of that. Just a brief description of some of their pro athletes and their runners that are sponsored by Timex. Pretty cool. Three month premium membership to Strava. So if you're using Strava, that's pretty cool. It's $18 value there. Set that off to the side. And what we have here is the this is the chest strap for the heart rate monitor. This is the USB charger. There's the USB charger right there. So there's your little claw grip charger right there that's what clip uh, clips around the uh, watch and that's how you charge your 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 watch via USB and this is the heart rate sensor there's your heart rate sensor right there Bluetooth heart rate sensor two little snaps and it's got a little uh, watch battery under here so let's see if we can open it There's your battery. It's already pre-installed. Let's pop this bad boy back in here. Okay, now that's done. And what you would do is you would just snap this in place onto the chest strap, like so. And then that's solid, that's gonna not go anywhere. First thing we wanna do is we wanna turn it on. So you're gonna hit the power button right here. Push and hold it. All 
And you're going to wait for it to power up and boot up. It's a mini computer, so there's probably a lot of things going on in the background here. Okay, so here's your main screen, all right? GPS. It looks like it's going through a little demo version of itself right here. Yeah, it's just going through the little features of what this watch can do. You tether this thing to your smartphone, leave your smartphone behind and go for your run or cycle or hike or whatever. All right, so now we're going to set up the watch, okay? Gives us an option for English or Spanish, so I'm going to select English. And now it says, on your phone or computer, browse to onegps.timex.com. I'll put the uh, website right here for you guys. It says, when prompted, enter in that code. All right, so what we want to do here is you're going to get the activation code right here. So you want to sync it to your GPS, one GPS app, which is right there. So sync that together. I'm going to log in. All right, so while it's connected to your phone, there's all your stuff right there. You have messages, contacts. So you can set up people to contact that, you know, in case you're out running and you slip and break your leg, you can contact somebody and tell them you're hurt. Um, you go into data services, and data services will tell you when all your data expires. Um, as I said, you have, you know, a whole year. And then you have your profile. So you can do a locator if you lose your watch. You can manage your social sites and edit your profile. You can also manage your fitness sites too. All right, so as soon as you go through the activation process, it's gonna ask, the phone's gonna ask for an activation code right there you'll get one emailed to you, so 425002. So let's put that in here. 425002. Check mark. Activating. Checking for updates. So it's downloading an update right now. Because the software is, I guess, uh, has an older version on it. All right, we'll come back as soon as this is finished. All right, so now it's downloading its update. Looks like it's going pretty quickly. Wait for that to finish. Hey, wait for this thing to power back on. Okay, activation completed.
All right, so now there's your stopwatch functions, your timer. You can set three different alarms, and you can select your watch face. You can either do that one or you can do that one. Back into time, and we'll go back to that. You can go to that face too, which is definitely a little bit different, a little camouflage kind of look to it. And I'll go back into here. And I'm going to change the watch face again. Saying I got a new in uh, two inbox messages, which is pretty cool. I'm going to change the watch face back to the regular one. to that screen, okay? Let's go into the messages. And that's gonna basically tell me that, you know, hey, you got an email. Welcome to Timex. Saying my registration was complete. Welcome messages, that's kinda cool. They're both no reply, so I can't reply to these, but if they were just a regular email, I could. And then we can go to music. And then we gotta hook the cable up to the USB and you can just basically drag and drop music into this. And when you do, after you have your headphones linked to the watch, you can go through the music player and you can actually select the songs that you wanna play and then it'll just go right off the, um, it'll go right off the watch into the headphones. Which is pretty cool considering that, you know, it has four gigs of onboard data which will hold about a thousand songs. So on the watch itself, you have Top button here is the power button. It also has a backlight. I don't know if you can see that, there you go. So it lights up pretty bright. It also is really, really easy to see out in the sun. So this uh, this great big display actually gets brighter in the sun. Uh, it's a Qualcomm display, so it's really, really nice. Uh, it's very easy to read. And as I said, so you have you can go to your contacts. Turn this light back on so you can add contacts, you add favorites. You can hit the fitness button here and then you can start your workout right there. So, what it's doing is locating GPS satellite. And once it finds it, it'll light up like that and it'll say ready to go. And then you can select your workout, you can do live tracking, you can link your heart rate sensors, which are right here. All right, so on the settings here, so you can decide your workout, whatever which way you wanna do, go right there. Outdoor or indoor, walk or hike. I'm gonna set that as a run, walk, hike. And you can select that. You can also slide this over and you can go into your history of workouts, your pace, your heart rate alerts, settings, and then there's your user info stats. So it's got a lot of stuff built into it, that's for sure. Uh, the touch screen is pretty quirky. It does take a little bit of finesse to get everything to work right. Go into your heart rate sensors. And then you can see we'll get the power on the uh, heart rate strap here. And I'm just going to put this watch down and I'm going to put the strap on my chest. So give me one second. Okay, so now we're gonna go into heart rate. Right there. Let's say connecting the heart rate strap. Oh, why it says unknown. There we go, Timex. Connecting. 
connected. Okay, so the heart rate now is connected. So we can go back into workout. And once that finds GPS, then we can start working out. Takes a little while sometimes, there we go. Okay, so now that's set. You can also notice that the heart rate is also lit up red. You could also sync a foot pod to it as well if you want to do cadence, if you're riding your bike. And live tracking as well. So let's just go into live tracking there for a minute. Now you can let specific contacts track your workout, which is pretty cool. They can get online and see what you're doing and your stats and everything, so that's pretty cool. Then you're going to start, and it's going to start your workout. There you go. It says we're about 88 feet of elevation. Granted, we're not moving, so I'm just kind of showing you what the deal is. And you can swipe over. Mileage. There's my beats per minute in real time and my time. So we'll do that. We'll hold down stop. It's going to say, wow, great workout. Great. And then I'm not going to keep it, but you can do all the summary stuff here. Saying, all right, well, that's what we did today. And here's your heart rate and everything. So you could also do auto lap, which I'm not going to get into. But if you know how to work these kind of watches, you know what auto lap feature does. So I'm just going to delete that. Yes. Okay, so now you can also get messages. So once you, you know, people can send you emails on the watch and you could actually reply to them from the watch, which is really cool. And then you could also sync music. Now you want to get into settings and you want to sync your headphones. Now I have some earbuds already linked to it. And your buds are just basically your little Bluetooth wireless headphones. They do have a, um, a list of headphones that will work with the Timex One GPS, so definitely want to check the website for compatibility issues. Okay, maybe I'm just not pushing down hard enough, I don't know. You could also go in airplane mode. There's your Bluetooth settings, feedback, format, language color you can actually invert it if you wanted to and then you could erase all content and settings so I'm gonna do that okay now it's gonna power off all right so as it's on the wrist it fits really comfortably and it's lightweight I mean, it is a monster. I have small wrists and it just looks really big on my wrist. Um, I'll actually loosen this because it is pretty snug. Let me just bring it down a notch. There we go, now it fits a little nice and loose. Um, but still, pretty nice. You know, you hit the power button here, it turns on the backlight, you can see everything, and you can do all your stuff. You can get into contacts, you can add new contacts. You know, add contact. You could do SOS, live track, and then angels. And then you can go back into your clock, stopwatch, timer, alarms. You can set the time. You can do 12 or 24 hours, whatever you see fit. And then back into here for that. Here's the back side of the watch right here. It is water resistant to 50 meters. The touchscreen will not work underwater though, just so keep in mind, okay? The OnePlus GPS has plenty of pros. There's a lot of cool things you could do here. You have 365 days activation on the AT&T 3G network. So you can link this thing to your smartphone, leave your smartphone in the car or at home or whatever, go for your run, go for your cycle. And then you could receive and reply to messages from the phone. You could also listen to music. And you could also link your heart rate. So, I mean, you could do all these things. You could track, uh, do live tracking, you know, monitor your heart. You could do all of these things. 
Um, so it's chock full of features. There's tons of stuff on this watch, which is really cool. So another thing that I really enjoy is that you could also put your contacts in here. So say you're out for a hike or a run and you slip and you break your leg and there's no one around to help you. You can actually send out an SOS to your contacts list. So just in case of emergency, say you're out and you're hiking and you're running or whatever and you slip and you break your leg or you break your arm and you, you're kind of you know stuck and you can't get out. What you can do is you can send a message from the, from the watch to one of your contacts as an SOS, like, hey, I'm in trouble, come get me, here's my coordinates. So what happens with that is you'll highly increase your risk of being found as opposed to not, which is super important, especially if you're running or hiking or cycling and you're by yourself. All right, aside from all of the features that's built into the watch, looks, it just looks cool. It's a good looking watch, you know, that's a, that's a big face, you know, I like big face watches anyway. It's super comfortable on the wrist and I, I like it, you know, on a scale of one to 10, I'd probably rate this watch a, a, an eight. So cons, couple of cons, not very many, but uh, the touchscreen, it is a little quirky. It does have a little bit of a delay. Um, I do have the latest and greatest software on this thing, so I don't think it's a software issue. I just think it's a, a display issue. Um, it's not force sensitive either, so it doesn't matter how hard you push this touchscreen, it still has a delay. Other con would be the music sync. Uh, I did sync music to it, and I was able to get music out of it. So pretty cool, but it took a little while. I use an iMac, and I don't think that has anything to do with it, but when I had it synced at first to my computer, I would drag the music folder into the folder of the watch, and I could see the music on the watch while it's plugged into my computer. But when I unplugged it from the computer and pulled up the music app on the watch, the watch didn't see the music. So when you sync the music to the watch, it's a little tricky. So what you want to do is you want to make sure Bluetooth is on on the watch first. Secondly, you want to get your ear pods or whatever kind of wireless Bluetooth headphones you're using that are compatible. And I'll put the compatibility list down in the uh, description box of what earphones are actually compatible with this watch because not all of them are. Then what you want to do is you want to um, hook up the data sync cable, which is the charging cable that clips onto the side here. After that's done, then you plug it into your computer. So when you open that device, whether it's on a Mac or a PC, you'll see a music folder. What you wanna do is you wanna click and drag that music, not a whole folder, it won't take a whole folder, but if you drag single songs, you can do single songs at a time, and you can drag or select several different songs and drag them all over. But if you drag a folder, it won't accept it. I don't know why. So if you see here, I just basically, I just put on one song and I'm just gonna go into the music. And what does that say? It says headset is required. So what you wanna do is it won't work unless there's a headset um, already paired to the watch. So the problem I had was that I could drag the music to the watch on the computer and I could see the music on the watch while it was plugged into the computer. But when I went to the watch, the watch wouldn't see the music after I unplugged it from my computer. So it was really weird. So just keep in mind that it's a little tricky when you sync your music. Now this thing will hold about a thousand songs. It has four gigs of onboard data. So this watch will definitely hold plenty of songs for any kind of workout or any kind of thing you wanna do. Uh, even just tooting around town if you have your earbuds with you and you wanna to listen to some music, you could do it from the watch. So another thing that you'll notice too is right now it has a black screen. Before it had the white screen. It will flip from white screen to black screen completely random. I don't know why it does that, it just does. So not a big deal, but this screen, whether it's in the black screen or the white screen, out in the sun is super easy to read. So the screen is excellent. Full GPS, this thing has about an eight hour runtime too. So you're gonna recharge it. You can recharge it via USB, not a big deal. If you're out in the back country for a while, you could actually recharge it via USB through a solar charger. So there's definitely options there. All right, so that's my review of the Timex OnePlus GPS watch from Timex. Here's their website right here. Make sure you check these guys out. These guys have been making a lot of watches and they've been making them for a very, very long time. So they definitely know what they're doing in the realm of uh, timepieces. So if you like my review and found it informative, you wanna get one of these for yourself, click the link down in my description box below and make your purchase. When you do, it helps support my website. Another way to help support Trailer Mountain is to click on the support button on my YouTube channel. When you do, you can donate any number of dollars and what that's gonna do is it's gonna allow me to produce higher quality content to give back to you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below in my comment section and I will get back to you as quickly as I can. Also too, please like, share, and subscribe. Here's the subscribe button right here. Make sure you click on that. This way you stay up to date on the latest gear reviews that I'm working on. 
Thanks very much for tuning in to TrailerMountain.com. Please keep checking back for more gear reviews and other outdoor-related hodgepodge. Take care, guys. Get outdoors.